Okay, picture this. You're at a gas station, you have enough money to fill up your tank, but you can't because you spent too much money on fossil fuels this month. Or your car declines when going to re-up on ammunition for your guns. According to new data, that's the world 68 countries, including the U.S., are moving towards with the development of central bank digital currencies. Our next guest has warned of the extensive overreach that this would allow, where all purchases must be cleared through the government. They can even limit your savings as well. If Trump finds his way back to the Oval Office, he says CBDC will never see the light of day. I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency, which is a method of stealing your money. People wonder, what, what is a, a digital currency? Specifically, what is a central bank digital currency? It's basically the government version of a cryptocurrency. And like the government version of most things, it's pretty terrible. Unlike something like Bitcoin, where you and I can transact with each other, and it doesn't have to go through anyone else, a central bank digital currency has to go through a central authority. So these... This is everything we've been saying, man. CBDCs can be traced, they can be tracked, they can be taxed. Every single cent, because every single cent has a unique fingerprint. At any moment in time, the government will always know where every single cent of its currency is around the world. In your wallet, in my wallet, and anywhere else. So, any, as you've written, any government apparatchik who doesn't believe in the Second Amendment could make a decision to bar someone from buying not just a weapon um, that's legal, but also ammunition. How close are some governments to rolling out these digital currencies? Oh, Dagan, it's very scary. Some governments are incredibly close. They already have pilot programs going. If you look at a country like China, for example, they are essentially just tacking this on to their social credit score system that they already have in place and, and have had for some time. And sometimes when I uh, try to warn people about CBDCs and the dangers that go along with them, people think that these are all like conspiracy theories. I'm simply quoting from people of organizations like the World Economic Forum, where they're already talking about using CBDCs as a way to control people to do what's good for them because after all the bureaucrats are looking out for you yeah right yeah and they're doing that in china my daughter was getting all right shallow one this is a horror one by yasha allah of the lions den camp located right here in jacksonville florida before i begin i want to say call halayim la yahawa by hashem yahweh shai by hashem however ka kodash ma ma double honor to the elder apostles of gms and their elders and shallow one to you akim and akwati my children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth and that are waiting and anticipating the return of our King, our Lord, the Messiah, the son of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, who's prophesied to bring righteousness to this wicked world, man. All right. So um, as you see, uh, we're living in a heavy time of prophecy. As the elder apostle Tahar put it out there, this is the hopeful year of um, Jacob's trouble. All right. And the initial start of Jacob's trouble will be around uh, the, the MOTB. All right. And then the, uh, the climax of Jacob's trouble is going to be the missiles, according to Malachi chapter 4. Now, um, right, hold on, let me uh, make this, get my GPS right real quick, so lucky. All right, so let's start off with this precept with that in mind, because that's what time we're coming up to, the time of Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation, which is going to lead to Jacob's trouble. This is uh, Daniel chapter, 10, chapter 12, verse 1, and it says, and at that time shall Michael stand up so how that goes with revelations chapter uh seven uh, they're going on white buses immigrant buses <laughs> My uh that goes with um revelation chapter seven where the lord said he's using the angels to hold back the destruction all right and he's going to send yahweh shai to to what send his army and uh, in his army the top general under yahweh shai is who michael the angel the archangel all right, let me find a better uh, spot real quick so I can knock this out. Um, it says, what? It's just, what, stand for the children of thy people, okay? The children of Israel, the elect today. Not all Israel, but they're going to stand for the elect. 
And it says here, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. All right, because this is a different, um, you know, type of trouble upon the earth to where it's going nuclear. All right, uh, people are scattered more around the world, especially here in America. It's a melting pot of pe different people, different ideologies, different religions and shit, wicked religions. You know, and um, and Esau trying to control every movement of our of our existence of our being, your bank account, what you buy, you know, um, what you eating, where you going. They want to they want to control it, and this is the perfect way to do it, is to take control of the money. They they have control of the dollar, the value of it, but um. You know, manipulating the interest rates, you know, manipulating the value of the dollar um, to control the country. But now they're moving even further to take away that uh, purchasing power that you have with the weak ass dollar. <laughs> so that purchasing power, meaning freedom to be able to buy, freedom to be able to hide your money under your under your bed make personal transaction if you want to give somebody a dollar or five dollars or ten twenty hundred whoever whatever to your family member they they want to know about it any transaction anything that moves anything that moves esau want to control it and they want to know about it all right taxation so that's what this is going into um it says what and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book man so that's what we're praying to be part of that number of the ones that are going to be delivered from this um coming judgment delivered from the snare of the fowler the trap that esau setting especially with this digital currency this is like the next move one of the next moves um especially according to prophecy we still got civil war that's going to break out on a mass scale. We saw, um, you know, uh, portions of that with Texas and the migrants. Right, the Texas governor against um, Biden. Sedition, sedition, talks of sedition, rumors of wars. So all the prophecies are on the table, man. The last few prophecies. World War Three, Russia just threatened again yesterday. I just did a lesson on nukes uh, the other day, and Russia just did it. Uh, Russia put out a statement. I think it was yesterday that they're ready for ready for nuclear war. And even France, I think it's Macron. He said he's ready with his nukes. So against Russia. So yeah, man. Let's, let's get back to this real quick. All right, so they had the title, Big Brother Watching or Controlling Your Wallet. Controlling Your Wallet, man. Okay, so we see all the steps they took, man. From gold and silver to the dollar. You know, um, from the dollar to debt based upon the dollar. <laughs> um from the dollar to debit cards from food stamps as to food stamps right which was another form of, of manipulation to separate families and take control of the women and children from paper food stamps to debit card uh, uh, food stamp cards everything was on a card and then from the card they added the CHIP to it the CHIP then from that now they ask you at the registers protocol they say do you have your, your you know your, your chip so it's a mental right psychology so now they're going from that they switch the signals around remember on the TVs everybody has to change their signal and then um they put up the 5G then you had the the uh how can, how can I, the epidemic 
allegedly. More control. And you see what happened at the register. Then you come back to the store. They got bars up and gates now. Everything in place. Everybody had to stand six foot apart. <laughs> it was weird, man. So now, they had, they, they had their last move. The last move, and they got concentration camps set up. Smart 15-minute uh, uh, cities. All right. So now the next move is to... Uh, before the, before or during or after the economy collapses or crashes, they're going to bring in this CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currencies, as we've been saying for years, especially here, in, you know, um, in the elders of GMS. But here we've been talking about, uh, uh, you know, I mentioned it many times before in lessons that they're not gonna get rid of the dollar. They're just gonna switch the dollar and change its form. That's what, that's what um, Bill Clinton was always saying: the phoenix rising from the ashes, ashes, destroy in order order to rebuild, build back better. You know all that mess, right? So they want to move from the dollar, which gives you a, a, a form of privacy, purchasing privacy, uh, trade. Fuck you looking at, man. God damn, man. These people weird as hell, bro. There's so many insecure people out here in this world today. It's all the mind of goddamn business, man. Shit. You know, so. Yeah, that's for you. On about today, all right. So, yeah, um, anyway, let's keep going. It says, Big Brother controlling your wallet, man. So, that's what they want to do control your wallet, control everything, you know. So, um, that was a Karen, by the way, as it went by. Um, so, um, yeah, they want to control your wallet, meaning they want to control the people, all right. And then you have depopulation. So they want to switch the currency from paper to uh, uh, fiat to digital, which will give uh, um, America America more room to play on the central bank on the uh, what is it called um, of the uh, the basket of currencies, the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. So the basket of currencies where China already switched there, they have a digital coin. So in the digital world, China is king. But the dollar is still the world reserve currency at this moment, American dollar. So all they got to do is have special drawing rights, SDR, special drawing rights, to switch their currency from a, a paper to digital. All right. And once they do that, now they're in the digital realm with their currency. But in that realm, China is king because they their currency is backed by gold, silver, oil, all kind of mess. All right. So um, so America's going to take the back seat. But the thing is, uh, with the CBDC, it says what they can control what you buy. All right, people buying guns. What well, they just told everybody, if, especially I don't know if it's everywhere, but Florida gun laws people can buy guns and they don't even need a uh, gun license so people purchasing guns purchasing guns and 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 this is a step for them to take away that uh, privilege because these jakes don't need no guns anyway you know so um they can control what you buy when you buy it if it can destroy your savings you know you can't save up you know, even people that, uh, ho, oh, man, it's deep, man. All right, so you try to save your money, they're going to have um, a time limit to where your money will run out. It's like a credit system, man. So you worked all hard for your money. Saving you worked hard, and you got 5000 10000 in the bank. And then next thing you know, they say you got to use it <laughs> before, before, the, uh, before two months or four months or within the month. You got to use your money. If not, they're going to delete it. 
on, on the digital currency, uh, um, you know, uh, system. So they're gonna delete your money. So you, what did that mean? You're a slave. Now they made you a new form of a slave where you gotta work. You gonna have to spend the money, and you got to work harder to get it back. That's when they can hand out rations. That's when they can cut you off from buying things. You might want to. Um, you might be in another city. You need some toilet paper. They might say, "Yo, you know what? You brought, you brought um, two packs of toilet paper back in Florida. Now that you're in Carolina, we need to we need to watch your carbon carbon print. You can't buy no toilet paper till tomorrow. Like, imagine that, man. You need uh, uh, baby food. You bought too much food. Too much baby food. You know what I'm saying? Imagine Jake when he tried to buy some pork. <laughs> What's his name? The guy that called himself King David. <laughs> yeah. P uh, past the pork chop, man. Peter Porker. That dude. Imagine him. He tried to go to the store and buy some pork. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you you spent too much. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> On this pork and shrimp and lobster, nah, man, you got to buy some veggies. <laughs> so yeah, man, these people gonna go crazy out here. They go your purge, brother in this camp. But then y'all, he just did a lesson. I forgot the city, but um, they putting laws in place that the cops not gonna be around. So that leaves room and space for a purge, especially with these migrants. So everything is at place. What's that? Order out of chaos, man. Order out of chaos. So by the time people figure it out and they're ready to fight back, it's going to be chaos everywhere. You see what I mean? And who do you fight when it's a corporation and you don't know, you don't have a target? This is a, this is a, Lauren Hill said it. How can you show up for an invisible war? See, we fight this battle spiritually. You see what I'm saying? So, um, like Bruce Lee said it, he said, there is no enemy. Why? Because there is no I in this situation. So, the way we fight our enemy, that, that's, um, in this mirage, in this matrix, we fight him by turning back to our power, by checking ourselves. Turning back to Yahweh, and he'll he'll fix everything. See that? So we don't need a target. We don't need, uh, you know. So um, yeah, man, Big Brother controlling your wallet. They moving towards that CBDC. It says sixty eight countries, countries deep in central bank digital currency development. They already got everything ready to roll out. China's already a step ahead of everybody. They just did it backwards. They got their credit. Uh, what do you call that? C credit system. That's not the word for it, but um, you know, give you a credit score. Not a credit score. Um, fuck, I can't remember the word for it. But uh, anyway, the, the status they're gonna give you a negative or a positive, like they did with Kanye. All right, so they're gonna give you a, a good. Score or a negative score? I can't think of the term right now. It always slipped my mind. Um, a social credit score. There you go. A social credit score. So they're gonna have that involved. See, China did it backwards. They already started with their social credit score system, and then they brought in their uh, CBDC. See, America's uh, going to bring in probably both at the same time. And uh, Trump said if he becomes president. He's not going to allow a CBDC, which he probably will later on, because he don't run the country, man. What's his name? Uh, Biden. He's going to allow it, the Democrats, and you know. So um, there's a there's a war going on, man. They they got your civil war right there. More more space for a civil war right there. More reason. There's talks of uh, anybody that saw the Simpsons with Trump in a casket. And the, and the card that they got, the Illuminati card, it says our snipers can get you from anywhere. You got uh, Iran said they sent assassins, a 
allegedly mingled in with the migrants to get Trump. You see what I'm saying? So everything's right there so they can use it as a false flag and blame it on Iran or whoever. So, um, yeah, man, so they're deep in. And now check this out. It says, what are central bank digital currencies? All right, because this, and, and, um, and this is a way for them to get rid of the banks. Because once they move towards digital, you see Bitcoin skyrocketing. All these people that got Bitcoin, all these different coins, that's going to go away. It's, it's not going to be um, legit soon. They're going to bring in the, the CBDC or Fed coin or whatever you want to call it. And they're going to denounce any other coins and say they're illegal. It was just a startup, man. It was a way to get people onto it. And we remember that. Remember the energy? It was like, nah, everybody, everybody like, what is this Bitcoin stuff? And people started becoming Bitcoin millionaires. Then they started putting in the stores, certain stores. People still like, who the hell brought it out? What the heck is this? I ain't getting it. I ain't getting it. And next thing you know, everybody got it. A lot of people got it. Majority of people got it. And then next thing you know, people buying houses with it, paying their bills with it. It's a hedge against inflation now. It went up to 68000 per coin. And they've run out of coins now. So people buying fractions of a coin that doesn't exist, you know, of Bitcoin. So what does that mean? That creates a high demand, which the demand is more than the dollar right now for Bitcoin. All right? Because there's very little of it. But there's a lot of dollars in the world because of hyperinflation. So government run cryptocurrency. See that? Government run cryptocurrency. Uh, government gonna run it. And, the, and the, the, the people, the public is supposed to run the government, but instead they're, it's backwards now. It says tracked. So people, everything you do will be tracked, man. So that means they're going to be tracking that person. Tracking device. Control, man. You know? So people try to go off grid and put their phone in the house and just go for a walk. And you got money in your pocket, you ain't going to be able to because you're going to have that digital setup. Might have a QR code to it on your phone or something like that. You know, have your own personal QR code on a key or something. And then eventually they're going to say the QR code is not enough and they're going to move towards the, you know what, the grain of rice. Right? So you can be tracked, taxed, and stopped without consent, man. Without consent. Meaning your money can be stopped. Not just you, the person. They're talking about your money. They can stop your flow of money. They can stop you from being able to spend anything without your consent. That, that that kills the Constitution. And this new bill that they're putting in place for uh, for TikTok. You know, that's like, that, I think they call it Patriot Act 2. So it's a lot they're doing, man. They're making their move right now, man. Especially before these elections. Right during spring, right around the Passover, things are heating up. All right. As we know, I think Passover is on uh, March 23rd at evening. So is the Feast of Unleavened Bread the same night. All right, so this is a heavy time of prophecy. And around April, I think you have a, a lunar eclipse, a solar eclipse, a, a total lunar eclipse that's going to um, send that last line exiting out America. At the same time, there's going to be a giant... They call it a, um, the Horned Comet. It's supposed to be heading straight towards Earth around that time. Same night. So, yeah, man, this is a beautiful time to be in, man. It's a beautiful time to be in, man. You see all these prophecies playing out. Things are moving quick. You can barely keep up with it. It says, uh, so you, your money can be used to force people to spend money 
through expiration dates, man. So they can give you an expiration date on your own money that you work for. So you work for it, you have your money in your account. Next thing you know, it starts dwindling, the money starts going down, disappearing. Or they say, you know what, you ain't, you didn't spend your money in a lot of time by the expiration date. So it's going to expire. And um, people are going to lose their, lose their money. They're going to lose their mind. <laughs> It is easy for government to punish dissidents, man. So who they consider a dissident, if you're against whatever they're against, I mean, if you're against any of their agenda, or if you're on social media protesting their agenda, if you're out in the streets protesting, they can shut you down, man. You know? So all hell breaking loose, or a survival moment, and you need some water, or food, they can say, nah, you brought it, you brought too much. You're gonna get one gallon. It's crazy, man. And then they put some um evil puppet in power. Like Biden or, or even Trump, man, because Trump is a devil too. And he's gonna Trump acting like he's against the Illuminati, the the uh, globalists, but he's a globalist himself. And he's not for our people, man. He's doing that for the, um, you know, for the presidential election. Coming out with his own sneaker, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's right, man. So, yeah, all of this is a puppet show. Bread, is it, uh, bread and circus. Let me get the scripture. Let's look up the word prudent. And the Lord told us to be prudent. It says prudent means acting with or showing care and thought for the future. See, a lot of people don't care, man. I mean, in preparation for the future. A lot of people got to get it now. Get rich or die trying, you know. Uh, live for today, not for tomorrow. It said no prudent. Okay, so prudent meaning what? Wise, well judged. Sagacious, the sage, as I was saying before in my prior lesson. Okay, so to be wise, a wise man. This is Proverbs 27 and 12. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. See, we foresee the evil. We foresaw the evil through prophecy, through the vision, through the scriptures, through the spirit of truth. We foresee the evil. But you see a lot of Jake's going back into the world and going out robbing, stealing, and killing, selling drugs, being up under their woman. Going back in the world just to get money, you know. Um, got one brother, he um, left teaching and started a crab business. It's, I mean, what do you do with that, man? You know what I'm saying? Crab and shrimp. So they're going to regret their decisions, man. One brother quit because he didn't want to stop smoking cigarettes and being up under his woman. Impressing his woman. You can go on and on. A lot of people fall out because they think it's a game. They think this. They, they don't have that imagination. They don't have that foresight. The anointing. So it says a wise man, a prudent man, foreseeth the evil, the bad things coming, the bad days. You know, and hideth himself. But the simple passive on and are punished. So they're going to pass on and continue in their own wicked ways. And they're going to be punished for that. All right. And the judgment that's coming. Because every, everybody going to be tested. And uh, the foolish. The foolish are going to fall. Um, you know, going to fall in that. They already fallen, but they're going to fall. Um, victim. And be gullible in that day. One of the main tools that the that the elites like to use is fear. Take everything away from, give them everything, and then take it from them. They've done that all the time in the music industry. Esau, one trick pony. Give you everything, just like the devil tried to offer to your house shot. Try to give you everything, all the riches you can have, and then take it from you. 
you know? So, Revelations 3 and 10. Because thou has kept the word of my patience. See, because we've hid ourselves under the name and um, spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, while his arms were open, he said, come hide under my arms and my shadow. And we ran to it. We ran to his name. Our strong tower. It says, because thou has kept the word of my patience. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord is going to keep you from it, man. If you have the elect, we ain't got to worry about it. You know? So the hour of temptation, man. You know? The hour of trial. The trial period. So we, we're going to be tested, our faith. We say we have faith, well, it's going to be tested. Same way Yahushua was tested, man. And he had faith above all of us. And he was still set, uh, uh, tested, but... The scriptures say no servant is greater than his master. All right. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord going to keep us from it, man. The same way he kept us from, um, you know, dealing with uh, this whole epidemic they just had. You know, the lockdowns and shit. He kept you from going down to Egypt for help, you know, like, like Tazariac and ISUPK and IUIC did. We didn't follow after that. All right. Um, it says, which shall come upon all the world, man. See, so this is going to be a worldwide switch over to the digital system, man. That's why they have the whole um, a, a worldwide economic uh, collapse is happening, too. They have world debt. It says, what to which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. Man, it's truth, your faith. That no man take thy crown. See, they're going to try to take our salvation from us. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of Yahweh, man. You're going to be one of the judges upon thrones in the kingdom if you get through this. And he shall go no more out He's going to put the laws in our inward part. It says, and I will write upon him the name of my power, Yahweh, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem. So when the scriptures speak about New Jerusalem coming down from heaven, it'll be talking about you, the individual, a citizen of uh, Jerusalem, refreshed, made new, which cometh, right here, go ahead, which cometh down out of heaven from my power. And I will write upon him my new name, man. His refreshed name in the earth, Yahweh Shai. Meaning you're going to belong to Yahweh, belong to Yahweh Shai. He's going to call you his son. All right? And a ruler in his kingdom. The first fruits. That's right. Psalm 17 and 1. Hear the right, O Yahweh. Attend unto my cry. So the Lord is going to hear. The ones that believe in righteousness, man, and, and sincerity and truth. He's going to hear your cries. He's already heard your cries, especially on the Passover. We cry out, you know. Give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips. Okay, this is King David talking. And we're in that spirit of, spirit of King David. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence. Let thine eyes behold the things that are equal. Thou hast proved mine heart thou has visited me in the night right the lord looking upon the earth and see those that have become one with him man one with yahweh shai one with him equal thou has proved mine heart see we're going to be we're going to be tried and proved thou has visited me in the night thou has tried me at the hour of temptation the lord going to visit us in the night and we're in the night now and shall find nothing you know, that's what we're hoping, man. The Lord don't find no spot within our faith because of his will, because of his power, because of what he led us to, that he'll find nothing. Because of his work, we'll be made perfect in faith. In that, you know, now and in that day. All right. Um, thou has uh, and shalt find nothing. I am purposed. 
that my mouth shall not con transgress, right? We ain't speaking no lies. We're teaching the truth. According to the truth and according to the prophecies. Concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. All right? So it's going to take some restraint to keep you from the paths of Esau. All right? The wicked on the left-hand side to keep you off of going, going um, astray. Hold up my goings in thy paths. See, that's the only reason we're able to stay in this truth is because of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to keep us to endure until the end. That my foot my footsteps slip not. See, we don't want to slip today or tomorrow. When they push that MOTB, the, the you know, the digital system and all that, and the, the grain of rice, we pray that the Lord keeps us and keeps our steps, man. That we slip not to the left or to the right. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me. See, the Lord said He heard us. He hears us. Incline thine ear unto me and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous ki loving kindness, O thou that savest by the right, by thy right hand. That's right, man. That's why the Lord the Scripture say, Yahweh shall gonna come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. You gonna scare the shit out of these people, man. All right, uh, Esau, um, basically saying, who see of him, man? You know, they think they think that we don't have any help, but there's help in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, O thou that savest by thy right hand, them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. That's right, man. So the Lord going to deliver us with spiritual power. Keep me as the right, as the apple of thy eye. We asking the Lord to keep us as his focus. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Hide us under his protection and under his angels. Psalms 91, he's going to give his angels charge over us. All right. You notice everybody wearing a mask again. Also, I'm looking around. A lot of people got masks on. And it's pollen season. So I can see, I don't know if they're, why they're doing it, you know. But, um, yeah, there's pollen everywhere, man. It's not what they think. It says, from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who can pass me about. So we're asking the Lord to hide us and protect us from the wicked. And the wicked right here is talking about Esau. That's pushing these agenda, digital currency, all these different things, man. From my deadly enemies. See, they ain't playing. Esau ain't playing. It's deadly. What they're doing. That's why Revelation 13 says anybody that doesn't go along with their agenda, they, they, they're trying to put those people to death. Depopulation. <laughs> right? So, they are enclosed in their own fat. So like, uh, yeah, they are enclosed in their own fat. With their mouth, they speak proudly, man. See, because of their riches, they have uh, even become what more prideful. And Obadiah says, "The pride of thy heart, thy heart has deceived thee." See, they, uh, and the scriptures say, "The rich man's wealth is in his strong city." All right. So they are enclosed in their own riches and their wealth and their their greed. With their mouth, they speak proudly because of that. See that. And they think they're gods. You know, they think they're the only powers, man. They have They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth, man. They're ready to take over the whole... They're already ruling the world, but what do you give a rich man that's already rich? Next thing they want is full control. They have now... So... Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey. They already got us in their grip, but they're greedy over it. They want more. They want us devoured. And it and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Alright? So you go to the store and you see remnants of the Illuminati there, man. You go to the store and they got signs up. You gotta wear a mask. Remember that? Six feet apart. You see the police, their policies, you know, they treat you like um, a terrorist right so lurking in secret places um, cause they're gonna use the, the corporation is gonna be the police you know so a lot of the police gonna have to uphold the constitution so they're gonna have to bring in the national guard they're gonna have to bring in
corporations. So that's why you go to the store. They're going to say, nah, you can't come in unless you do this or that. You know? All right, so arise, O Yahweh. See? Arise and disappoint him, man. They're going to be disappointed. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. From men, which are thy hand. All right? O Yahweh, from men of the world. See, Esau represents... Uh, operates on the left hand of the Most High, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou feed, fillest with thy hid treasures, they are full of children, and they leave the rest of their substance to their babes, and that's what they're hoping to do, to take control of the whole world even more, create this digital system, and then leave it to their children. And we'll be like um, the movie The Matrix and shit, and Terminator, while they controlling everything. And digital CBDC is coming. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls if he meaning Esau, not no, uh, they, they, you hear the church people saying it's going to be an Antichrist pop up, man. You know, the Antichrist is anybody that doesn't, that goes against the truth, man. Anybody that goes against the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you consider the Antichrist. Anti anointed, contender against the truth, against the anointed. All right, so and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive. He can cause them to receive it. You know, just like they did during the um the lockdowns, caused a lot of people to receive what they wanted. To receive a mark karagma in their right hand or in their forehead, which is going to be tied to the CBDCs, ties tied to this uh, cryptocurrency which has a ledger based system, tracking system track everything you do, all your movements everything you buy is going to be in this new ledger or a ledger meaning like a, a digital file uh, um, you know a puppet, a, a digital puppet of yourself, kind of like voodoo that they into, you know what I'm saying that they can poke at and shit He's so wicked, boy. All right, so uh, yeah, they're going to cause everybody to do this, man. And that no man might buy or sell. See, that's what we're talking about. But you got idiots out here like IUIC saying that it's, it's Christianity and all this madness. See, they're going to get caught out there, man. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the karagma or the name of the beast or the number of his name. You know, so let me get this real quick. That's right, man. Second Corinthians two and eleven. Less shape, less Satan, which means contender or adversary. See, anti, anti, anointed Satan. Esau today. Um, less Satan should get an advantage of us. See, that's what they want. They want to get the advantage and catch everybody off guard. You know, um, and get us to turn from the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and they want us to to dwell in darkness or even a little bit of shade, so they can get the advantage over you. For we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We're not ignorant of their imaginations and literally their devices. We're not ignorant of it because the Lord gave us that foresight. If you can see a punch coming, you'll know how to get out of the way of that punch. All right. All right, but this is what the Lord is telling us. So there's two messages being pushed out on the earth, actually three. You got the message of denial, meaning people saying these things ain't going to happen. You know, the the, the novice, they like, oh, I don't know, man. They've been saying that for some years, man. It's, you know, whatever. People that doubt it, they're the foolish ones. Then you have the prudent, which are wise, that have hid themselves and trusted in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And then you have another message that's being pushed out of fear and doubt on the left-hand side. But while those messages are being pushed out, this is what the Lord is saying to us. Isaiah 41 and 14, fear not, thou worm, Jacob. See, we're like a worm. We're helpless, as you can see, man. 
without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, I, I, people, these people are helpless, man. We'll be helpless without them. You know? And we're begging for the Lord to have mercy on us and deliver us from this uh, atrocious plan that Esau has to bring on the world. And these heathens do. And to deliver us from our own people, man. Jake, because they waxing worse and worse too. Isaiah 41 and 14, Fear not, thou worm, Jacob. And Jacob is the elect today. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee. See the Lord, oh, man, Yahweh Shah is going to help us, man. Oh, we need a little help from him. That little help is like everything. <laughs> but he gonna, he's going to show up in a major way. Yahweh Shah is going to return with all the holy angels with him. And, and also showing up in the glory of the holy angels and the glory of Yahweh and his own glory. He's bringing all of it. All that power. I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right. So, uh, right, man. So while others are looking to the world for their help or going down to Egypt, you know, uh, for help, trusting in the ways of Pharaoh, today, modern day Pharaoh is Esau. Trusting in the idols of the Egyptians today, the modern day Egyptians are Americans and the, uh, these Edomites. It says, I will, Psalms 121 and one, and 1, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help, man. So we're looking for that help from the Lord, that help that He promised us. He said, I will help thee, thou worm Jacob. All right, my help cometh from Yahweh which made the heavens and the earth. And he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber day or night. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Yahweh is thy keeper, right? We say this prayer on the Passover. Yahweh is thy keeper. Yahweh is thy shade upon thy right hand. See that? Our protection. The sun shall not smite thee by day and the moon by night. I mean, when all hell break loose, it's not going to smite you. See, in the ancient times, people would have to travel during the day or travel during the night. So all the things that could damage you during the day, like the heat, the burning heat at 12 o'clock high noon, the Lord said he's going to protect you from that, even back then, in travel. And he will protect them from the uh, the dangers by night, the nocturnal animals that hunt at night, the cold that creeps in at night. You know, you're going to have efficient uh, food, things you need. So today you look at it spiritually, the Lord's telling you the same thing. He's going to protect you from the worldly elements that come against us. Yahweh shall preserve thee from evil. To be preserved, man, it's to save you and keep you from the evil that's coming and through it. The same way he kept uh, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, you know, from the fire of uh, the oven of Nebuchadnezzar got one of these rapping um, boondock jakes walking up you know they be walking around staring at everybody insecure rapping to their damn self and shit so it says Yahweh shall preserve thee Jake living the damn um, they think they living in the fucking music video and shit Yahweh shall preserve thee from all evil. So we foresee of the evil, and we asking the Lord to hide us. He's going to preserve you from it. He shall preserve thy soul from the CBDCs. <laughs> Yahweh shall, that's right, preserve our soul, man. Look at people like Lil John and them out there selling out. Everybody becoming Muslim because they getting scared, just like they did in jail. You know, you see all the people become Muslims, protect themselves. <laughs> they doing the same shit. Out here, man. They're getting scared, so they become Muslims. Thinking that's gonna protect them. <laughs> Alright. Yahweh shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore, even into the kingdom, man. Alright, I'm gonna get this last one. So when you hear about the CBDCs, the dollar crash, the plans that they have to take control and privacy away from you. And to force it upon you and your families, and then behind that they have their satanic agenda. 
They putting up Baphomet statues all over the place, you know? And you'll think they winning. But no, no, no. Psalms 37 and 7. Rest in Yahweh. Just, just rest. Keep doing his work. Praising him. Loving the Lord. Loving your family. You know, your brothers. And enjoying his truth, man. Stay in the light. And wait patiently for him, man. Wait patiently. Be patient. Because that's what they're going to try to take from you. Everything's fast food now. Every, everything's pressure and fear. You got to make a choice. Make a choice. Make a choice. You can't come into the store. You can't eat. You can't do this. You got to wear a mask. You got to do this. Do that. Wait patiently. You can't come in the store unless you got your QR code or your digital setup. Yeah, you might get that on your phone. That don't mean you're selling out. But then when they try to put it into your body, that's when you you sold out. You know? Getting it on your phone is just like having it. You know, the Bible says, right now to Caesar, what is Caesar's? You know? So, um, rest in Yahweh. And wait patiently for him. You know? So, wait patiently for Yahweh. All right? Wait patiently for Yahweh to send Yahweh Shai. That's going to deliver us from the plans of these devils. Fret not thyself, so don't worry. Don't be in fear. The Lord did not give us a spirit of fear, but of hope. Fret not thyself because of him, because of Esau, who prospereth in his way. See, they prosper in, in their way, bringing all their wicked devices to pass. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass, man. All right, so... You know, so it says what? Cease from anger. Don't get mad, go out protesting, you know? And forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Okay? So don't in any wise to 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 bend to the will of these devils, man. Cause you to do something stupid. Because of the pressure that they putting on out here. That's when I go out and rob and kill somebody or something. Or, um, uh, uh, like Tazariak did, you know, when he got the, uh, you know, the Maxine and IUIC. Psalms 37, it says, What? Fear uh, for evildoers shall be cut off, man. They're going to be cut off. Just like a hose. You ever see somebody trying to put out a fire and then the dam or they water in their garden and then the water get cut off or somebody step on it, on the hose? Hey, what the fuck? They just shut off. That's what you're talking about. Esau going to be cut off from what they're doing, from their plans, from their ways. All right? So the Lord appointed their bounds that they cannot pass, man. And we got to understand that. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon Yahweh, they shall inherit the earth. All right. So with that, man, no fear in this shit. That's there's no fear when you love the Lord, Yahweh Bashim El Shai. So it says, what are central central bank digital currencies? Government run cryptocurrency. You can be tracked, taxed, and stopped without consent. So they can take money from you anytime they choose to stop your flow of money. And track you and things you do and punish you um, if they don't like what you're saying on social media or whatever can be used to force people to spend money by by giving you an expiration date through expiration dates making you a a, um, a new a new form of a slave to where you'll spend the money when they say so and force you to try to work harder to get it back. It says, easy for government to punish dissidents who, whom they consider a dissident. All right. But what did the Lord say? Fear not, thou worm Jacob. I will help thee. And that's what we need to focus on. Keep your, a message the Lord told me a long time ago. He said, keep your mind on me. Keep your mind on me. Remember that secret place I gave you. And that's what we should do. With that, I'm going to say, I shall alone.